folks welcome back to good enough customs so uh last week we started on the bed floor for the blazer um and got the the majority of the floor cut out so uh so you know now we've got just that so this week what we're going to do is we're going to get um pardon my cardboard so this week we're going to try, try and figure out how the rest of this comes off of uh, the wheel wells comes off around the outside of the bed um and then try to figure out where all my spot welds are to get the flooring off of uh back there at the tail panel so uh so that's what we're going to primarily focus on today is trying to figure out how in the world this is all attached and get this all broke loose so that way the entire bed floor is out i still don't know what the wheel wells need to come out or not they're in pretty good shape so they may not even have to come out i don't know but we'll figure that out once that time comes so uh and i've had i've had a couple questions about uh you know why why did you take the whole floor out that looks salvageable and all that well pretty much this floor is eat up on the edges bad uh you know big holes over in the corners um you know back over here in this corner back over in this corner uh it's got rust i mean right in through here on this side is just i mean it's almost non-existent in parts uh, it's got some rot back over in there. It's just got the big spots there. So in order to get the patches for that, I would have to order those two big patch panels. Um, this front lip was chewed up pretty bad. And then again, like I said, along the edges of the wheel wells, um, and then back where the pockets are for the, uh, for the seat, for where it tumbles forward, that was a little rusty as well. So I was gonna have to order all three pieces anyways. Um, not to mention the fact that having to cut out all these little sections, weld in new metal, clean that metal up, you know, after getting the weld in, cleaning the welds up, making it look like something halfway decent, you know, that's just, it's quicker and easier this way, at least in my head, that's the way I think. But anyways, so that's what we're going to focus on this week is getting the rest of the bed floor out, which means getting over there to filler neck, um, getting this part out. Uh, I've already got most of that part out and then getting this part on the tail, tail panel out. Um, and who knows if that goes smooth enough, then, uh, maybe we'll work on repairing that tail panel, uh, getting that rust cut out of it. Cause it's got some pretty, you know, it's got some holes in it and stuff. So, uh, don't know what's all, what all's in store after we get this floor out, <laughs> but that's, that's, we're, that's what we're going to work on. So, uh, I guess I'm going to finish moving stuff around. I just moved, uh, just moved Steve out. I'm gonna finish moving some crap around here in the shop so I can get the uh, blazer pulled over. And uh, oh my God, thank God, we got some amazing weather rolling in right now. Uh, this weekend, it's gonna be like in the 80s, low humidity. And I, I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I've come outside a couple of times so far this, this morning and uh, I don't instantly burst out into just pouring sweat. So, <laughs> so um, yeah, the weather is definitely in our favor today. So uh, anyways, I'm gonna get to it and uh, we'll, we'll catch up here in just a minute. All right, first things first. I gotta clean this crap up. There's so much metal dust and shavings and dirt and everything. I'm gonna clean the top of this fuel tank off, probably get on top of the frame rails as much as I can just for the meantime. And then, uh, then we'll get to figuring some stuff out. That's better. So I can't find the little skinny piece so I can get down in here in, these, in between the fuel tank and the frame rail. So uh, I guess I'll figure something out for that later. It's not important at this point. So the majority of this stuff's cleaned up. I'll probably uh, climb up in the middle there and do some more uh, vacuuming and such and uh, try to get some of that stuff cleaned up, but whatever. So I guess now we can actually look at what's going on here. So we got a pretty good shot right here of how this stuff goes together. So this is part of the floor and this is the wheel well. So I don't, I don't know, I don't even see or feel, well, there's a little divot there. Maybe that's a spot weld. 
that may be a spot I can't tell over here so looks like we might have a spot weld there ah. yep there's a spot weld there feels like there's one might be maybe right there so <sighs> yay spot welds uh. Anyhow, so it uh, looks like it's spot welds holding this thing together. So I guess what I'm going to do is go through and start finding them all and uh, getting them marked. So I'm going to take a Sharpie and mark them. Um, and then I don't know if I want to drill these out. I may, because I don't want to put holes in the wheel well. Now granted, when I go to weld the new part in, it should fill that hole in but uh i may just get at it with uh with the grinding wheel and just grind the spot welds out that may be the best way to go on this so uh i'm gonna hem and haul on that for just a few and uh then i'll get back to it here shortly so doing a little bit of vacuuming cleaning up back here and uh you know i talked about the reason why it, it rusts out so bad right over here behind the wheels because all the crap is kicked up here is a prime example so I mean this is on top of the gas tank so it ain't even getting all the crap but you can see all that dirt and dust just running a dang screwdriver in there and how much is actually in there so that's why those rot out Alrighty, so now what I'm going to do is uh, got my scraper, got a yellow paint pen, and uh, I'm going to go along this edge right in here and find my spot welds, um, and then mark them with the yellow with the yellow uh, paint pen. That way, when it comes time to actually start cutting these things out, I can find them. Um, as far as cleaning all this stuff up, because I do want to paint this, so this has got to be really cleaned up. I think this is a perfect job for Jackson. <laughs> so, um, so he'll end up getting in here. Scraper, wire brush, all that fun stuff, and trying to clean all this dirt off and vacuum it all up and get all that stuff done so that way we can put a coat of paint down on everything. So, uh, so anyways, enough of that. I'm going to get to uh, marking these guys out. Alrighty, so here's what we got. Here is our flange for the bed floor mounted to the wheel well. And we definitely have spot welds. Went through here, took a scraper, and just scraped all the dirt off. Um, then I came back with a wet rag and just wiped it down. So that way it's got a nice clean surface. So I can see what's going on. Um, and then once I get done figuring out where all the spots are, I'm gonna mark them with some yellow paint. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna get all these off just yet, but you know, there's one, there's one. That feels like there's one. It's hard to tell some of these, but uh, I do know for sure there's three. <laughs> Those are real easy to see. But uh, uh, yeah, a lot of this too is use lighting to help because it'll give you a little shadow where the divot is for the spot weld. So these are, you know, extremely visible. These are not so much, or they're harder to see. But uh, I'll move the light around a little bit and try to get the shadow to cast. And that'll help try to figure out where they are. So that's what I'm doing right now. All right, so we got a bunch of spots marked out. Some of these are a little bitty, like these little guys. I didn't mark. I didn't mark in here. Uh, let's see if I can get a little closer. Yeah, these little guys. I didn't mark those because they look too small to be freaking spots, unless they're just teeny tiny spots. So I'm kind of thinking, at the risk of destroying or bending the hell out of these wheel wells, I'm thinking I might just get the air chisel out and just set it in there and kind of, you know, point it 
back towards the center of the truck and just go down with it and try to bust these things loose. That may be the easier way to do it rather than uh, trying to drill all these guys out and going through that nightmare of stuff. So, uh, I don't know, still thinking. I'll get back to you. All right, so I'm gonna give this a shot with the impact or the, uh, the air chisel. So, ow, I took my end and just kind of sharpened it up a little bit. So it'd be a little bit smaller profile getting in there, a little sharper edge, maybe to cut through that sheet metal a little bit easier. So uh, if you're using an air chisel, be sure to wear your ear protection. It's uh, it's not good when you're you know older and you go, huh? Huh? You're a bit uh, fine, job. Here we go. So, maybe a little bit aggressive. <laughs> so, um, it actually worked out really, really well on this part. I mean, it pulled it plumb loose on this side. Uh, this just had the three big spot welds on it. This one had a bunch of those little bitty ones in it. And, uh, well, as you can tell, there's, there's daylight here and there and there. There's another one here. Although, this is probably because this is a little rusty right here. But... Uh, yeah that little bit of daylight here and here that's actually this piece ripping so uh uh it's working but uh you got to be a little bit ginger with it a little, a little careful um because if you uh if you get going too far then you'll do like i did and cause more work for yourself because now i got to patch some holes in the wheel wells so <laughs> uh, i tell you what anyways um, but this seems to be working okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do this all the way down. Um, if it ends up butchering this guy, you know, as much as I hate to do it, I'll just buy another one, I guess. They're not that expensive. Um, you know, and if it does butcher this guy up, then over here on the passenger side, maybe I'll fall back and punt and do something a little different there. So, uh, uh, one thing that did actually help is having these cuts um where i pulled that you know the bracing out for the main floor so that that actually has helped a little bit because that relieved this stress so this piece just kind of moves on its own now um this one will probably come off in one piece you know between here and there and then well actually no it won't because this is together here but at least give it some relief to where it can bend and move uh as i move up so uh yeah i guess i'm just gonna keep on keeping on and try not to tear up this wheel well too much So up here it worked beautifully um you know it clean it, it pulled right out it was nice and clean thankfully there wasn't any spot welds back up in this little corner um because that would have been an absolute nightmare but <clears throat> luckily you know that piece just pulled right out it looks like i have some rust on the inside of this guy it's like i got some rust on the inside of this guy so i may end up having to cut more of this out than what I thought. Um, but I can't tell if those are rust holes. <laughs> you can't quite see it on the camera, but I see a hole here. And that just may be an alignment hole. I can't quite tell. No, that's a bolt hole. Okay, okay. So, good. 
So this may just clean up. I know I've got to replace, you know, parts of metal over here. This is really scaly back over here. So I'll probably have to cut it back over here where it cleans up a little bit. I don't know how I'm going to get all the way out there, but that's another problem for another day. <laughs> this is my problem for today. So the problem you run into here, um, and it took me a, a lot of hacking this wheel well up to figure out is you really want to go back towards the middle of the truck but whenever you get down in here you can't so you're automatically forced at an angle into the wheel well with the chisel blade so that's the main reason why this is all hacked up part of it too is it's it's actually you know kind of rusty in there but uh yeah so you know learn as we go here folks um if i had to do it over again i'd probably go ahead and cut all the way up at the very edge and get rid of this lip and go ahead and cut all the way here whenever i was pulling the floor out uh that would probably alleviate a lot of issues um because then you'd be able to see the bottom and the top at the same time uh bonus though i did figure out that if i sit one cheek on the pumpkin and one cheek on a drive shaft makes for a quite comfortable seat <laughs> so um but yeah once you get off the you know on these angles here where you got room for your your uh air chisel to go you can actually get the right angle and you can bust the you know you can bust spot well it's pretty easy that, that worked up here and it worked back there but right here in the middle not so much i mean really i need a, a chisel that's probably you know a foot long to be able to do that i don't have one um so i'm gonna see what i can't do here uh i'll probably do something a little different over here on the passenger side um the more i think about it the more i like the idea of going ahead and cutting as much of this off as i can so i'll probably go ahead and just slice this guy on out and slice it on out that way all i'm dealing with is that strip and i'll probably at the very minimum go ahead and drill all the spots out that would probably help a ton uh just go ahead and pre-drill them get them weak that way whenever it pops it pops real easy things i would do differently <laughs> but it is a learning process so uh uh you know bear with me here so i guess what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and you know put a drill bit on all these these top spots right here um they're all through and that is actually just a tiny tiny little spot weld it's just an itty bitty little guy um hitting it with the the air chisel i mean it broke just immediately so that's not a big issue it's when you get down here into these bigger ones and you can't quite get the angle on it, it's when it starts ripping the metal and really making a mess of things so uh, uh so i think what i may do on this i don't know it's kind of it's one of those that this thing's so butchered now um what i may end up doing is taking and uh I don't know i may go ahead and just get the, the grinder out and just grind these welds down the ones i can get to and uh see if i can't go ahead and just pop this thing on out and uh you know learn from my mistakes on this but you know hey i get to uh, practice welding a little bit more because i got to try to patch that up and i don't know yet i'll have to look and see what the availability is on wheel wheel and what all is involved to get it actually off the side of the body because i don't know I got the bolts pulled but it does look like there's a bonding agent in there and i don't really want to mess with that so worst case i'll just get a piece of metal cut it out and put a fresh piece of metal in there done ready to go so uh, uh anyways i guess actually i think i'm gonna go get me some lunch and then i'm gonna get back to it so we will see y'all after i got a belly full of peanut butter and jelly <laughs> it's peanut butter jelly time so, so we'll see y'all in a bit. All right, then. Back at it. So, made a decision on this. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get the drill out and just drill these little spots that are along this one piece just so I don't butcher this any more than I already have. And uh, hopefully I can hammer it fairly straight and, you know, clean up the... Uh, the big holes that i put in it so uh i guess that's gonna be my life for a little bit is just going through drilling out all these spot welds i'm not gonna drill them all the way through um all i'm gonna do is just drill enough to where 
the metal should break and it should pop right out and then i can come back and i can grind it with the uh with the grinder so i'm gonna do that on this guy and i'll probably go ahead and do this side as well since uh since i'm here so uh i'm gonna get on that and uh i'll catch back up with y'all here in just a bit all right so looks like i've got something that actually is working and it's doing minimal damage i'm still gonna have to cut a strip out of this uh wheel well and re-weld in some fresh metal but uh you can see i've got it opened up quite a ways um what i did was i went through and i drilled out my spots didn't drill real, real deep just deep enough to where you know the metal's thin and then i'm taking my big old pry bar and i am sticking it right there on the edge and just beating the crap out of it luckily this thing's got a nice little crook to it so it uh it goes you know where it's supposed to so i'm doing that and that's busting these things up and it's doing pretty quick work of it so uh i'm gonna finish up on this and then uh i guess maybe get back here and work on that or since i'm here in this i'll probably come over here and work on this guy So as you can see, I hacked the absolute crap out of this. <laughs> this is just straight up butchery right in through here. So if I'm gonna replace this little piece, I'm probably gonna end up cutting like all the way up here and then cutting back over here and uh, replacing this whole strip. The only problem I don't, the only thing I don't know how I'm gonna do is replacing this lip. Maybe cut a piece that goes up to this edge that may be what it is. Cut here, cut a piece long enough to have this lip, and then just roll it off the, uh, the edge of the workbench and just give me a nice little lip there. So, I don't know. That's for another day. We'll figure that out down the road. So, uh, so since now I know what not to do. <laughs> Anyways, since I know what not to do, I guess uh, I'm going to come over here on this passenger side and uh i'm gonna not do what i did on the driver's side and just hack that thing all to pieces hopefully so uh i guess i'm gonna get in here first off and drill my spots out of course first i gotta go through and clean this thing up because it's just filthy dirty can't see much of anything there so i'll go through here and clean this stuff up and uh try and find all my spots and then go ahead and drill those out and uh, once I have those drilled out, I'll probably just use the, the hammer and the pry bar and just, you know, bang them out that way. Because that seems to work pretty well. Um, much better than the air hammer, air chisel, whatever. Um, seems to work better than that. So um, if I don't have to fix two wheel wheels, I'll be in good shape. So I reckon that's what I'm going to do. So we've got spot wheels drilled out shallow drilled not super super drilled um i'm just using a regular old drill bit rather than using the cutting bit for the wheel the, the uh, spot welds um mainly because i didn't want to put the little hole in them uh for my pilot so uh we're gonna see how this works out try this with the uh with just a pry bar and a hammer and uh see if that works out for us so here we go Well, you know, hindsight being 2020 and all, this is definitely the better way to go. Only downside is, is man, that hammer swinging arm gets tired. So you can see I got one big ups and a couple little dents here and there, but nothing, nothing bad. 
and then that I can, you know, hammer out and weld that back up. So that shouldn't be a problem. But uh, yeah, that uh, I've got them all busted loose across this front piece. Um, I think I've got, uh, I think we got a little bit of seam seal still uh, holding us in over here, back here in this back corner. Uh, so I'm gonna heat that up and cut that out here in a second. And that should allow me to get this front piece up because it's not welded in or anything. It's just pressed in, I guess you could say. Um, so I can go ahead and get this piece out. And then I guess maybe I'll get the cutting wheel out. I don't know. If I do get the cutting wheel out, I'll cut it somewhere in here. That way I can just pull this piece off. But uh, this piece is ready to come out for the most part. So yeah, moving on to the next part. I got it broke loose so I got her all broke loose now it's just a matter of getting this little corner out of here because it's being stubborn that might be enough let's see So that piece is out. So you can see this is the uh, front of the wheel well. It is not that bad uh, as far as rust is concerned. And uh, coming over here, you can see, you know, it's got some, it's got a little scale going, but it ain't rotted through like the other side was. It might be up underneath. Uh, this is a huge hunk of uh, seam seal over here. So I got to get all that up so we can look and see what's underneath it. But. Yep, that's out. A lot less damage doing it this way. Um, like I said, that's my worst, which really isn't that bad. A couple spots I just need to go through and zip with the uh, with the grinding wheel and just clean up. And of course, got a few holes to fill, but you know, whatever. That worked out so well on the other side. So I figure I'm just gonna follow that all the way across. You can see there's a spot, there's a spot. I hadn't really found any other ones, so since I can see those two, I'm gonna go ahead and knock them out or drill them. So those are drilled. Let's see what we got. There's one right there. There's one right there. There's one right there. So I'm a marker so I can mark those. Yeah, so I haven't really noticed those bolts before, but there's one right in there, one there, and then one over here. There's actually one on this back side over here. Um, again, look like half inch. I don't know. I don't know what those guys do. I see a little splash guard there, but that's it. So I don't know if those if that's got actually held in by anything or if it's just that's how this part of the floor holds in. We'll find out. Let me go get a ratchet. Well, that's easy enough. So, that works out pretty good. Um, just drilling out the spot welds and then just beating them out. We started off doing that in the, uh, in the front floor pan. Apparently that works out best out here on the rear pan. Uh, the front we ended up just saying screw it and going with the air chisel. Um, that made short work of a lot of stuff because we didn't have to drill as much. So you can see down here on this side, it's just got 
three screws that hold it in or bolts. And then there's a fourth right there, um, somewhere over here, right there. Um, there's that fourth that holds this guy in. And then I'm guessing the rest of it, it's still attached up here to this piece, which goes across this tail panel. And this is rivet or uh, spot welded in across this. So I got to find those, but, uh, I may be able to peel this guy on out. I don't know. I'm going to monkey with this just a little bit um, and see if I can't, you know, bend him up and get this piece out. And that way it's just, it's out of there. All right, doing that and moving on. Well, this is fun. <laughs> so, a couple quick things. Down here in this little corner, find a spot to put my arm. Down here in this corner, they apparently put a little weld, ran a little line right there, a little bead. Now, I think there's one right here. There's definitely one going across right here and another one up, uh, up down in there on the uh, tail panel piece. So it looks like there's a couple little spots of weld back here on this uh, this back edge and going along back here. So, uh, so that part, you know, hey, good news. Driver's side, there ain't a lick of uh, bed floor left. Just wheel well. Uh, maybe a lick. There's a couple pieces left on the wheel well here. Take care of that later. So, um, so yeah, yay, that's done. So now it's going to be uh, tackling this tail panel. And uh, I think it's got a couple spot welds in it. I'm not 100% sure. But, uh, you know, this corner bit, you know, I just stuck the pry bar under it and just pulled it and it popped right up. So uh, this, I probably am going to peel a little bit and uh, maybe cut. And then peel a little bit, cut, peel a little bit, cut that may be the best route on this um there's still this one little piece right here that's still it's a part of the floor but it comes back here it doesn't look like the floor goes up underneath this maybe it does i don't know but i ain't getting it out from underneath there that's for damn sure so what will probably happen is uh uh if that is part of the floor it may just stay don't know and i'll just weld you know weld the new stuff to it so um yeah now is all the fun stuff getting this tail pan squared up and then i got the fun part of over here yeah don't mind all the tools and crap because uh yeah there's a lot going on here <laughs> so don't mind all that crap but uh, i've still got to get that out I, i'm i was trying not to drop the fuel tank but with the way everything's got to come out like i've got to pull the fuel hose nozzle filler thing out that's got to come out uh so i get that piece of the floor out but I, I, i've got a gas tank with fuel still in it sitting right here i don't i just don't know i might drop it out i've actually got up here right there in that big big box is another blazer fuel tank i bought it for big john um and then i had a nice case of putting the cart before the horse and welded in my uh um my tow hitch my my draw hitch tow bar whatever you want to call it welded that guy in well it's too far back it had to go a certain distance back so i could fit it behind the roll pan 
but that puts it too far back for me to mount one of these tanks in the back. That's what I was originally going to do there, which is mount a center tank, get rid of the saddle tanks. And then just want to run the one, you know, I think it's a 32 gallon tank, I think is what I got. Um, and just run that one tank. But uh, yeah, that's not happening now. So I've got, I mean, I've got a tank. If I just want to, you know, for shits and giggles, replace this one. But uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm still on the fence about that. We'll get to that point eventually. So uh, yeah, I guess uh, here we go working on this tail panel. And uh, once I get a little bit of my crap picked up, I'll, uh, I'll join back up with you. All right, so I went ahead and cut this guy down. Uh, just this little edge right here, just so I can start trying to peel this guy up. Ugh. Eee. Oh wow, yeah, she's she's a little crunchy. Maybe this will help me identify where spot welds are. Yep, there's one right there. Where's my drill? Oh, it's down here. So that's still a work in progress. Gonna finish peeling that on up over that way. Um, luckily, it's pretty rusty, so just beating it with the uh, beating it with the pry bar and a hammer seems to be uh, busting those welds off pretty easy. But uh, yeah, I knew I had a hole here because I could see it back here underneath the lip. So that's uh, that's pretty good. It's. Uh, Yeah, it's back here on the back. So what I'll probably end up doing is uh, cutting cutting this guy out over here where it's cleaner metal. Cutting this guy down. Probably go ahead and take it all the way down to here and just do a straight line across over to here depending on what's going on over here. I gotta, I gotta investigate over in this corner a little bit better. Cause I don't know what's going on there, but it's, uh, it's pitted pretty good. Um, yeah this is all really pitted really scaly and of course you know really holy so uh so i'll probably cut it somewhere in this neighborhood and take it all the way back over to here uh it doesn't really have any holes on this on the uh, the front side of it it's just all pretty much back in here and that was that's going to be from where that that you know dirt and grime and crap gets up in here and it just sits and it holds the moisture and that's what you get is that wonderful stuff right there so so this will be a big uh, big piece to cut out and repair. I'll have to figure out what gauge metal this is and make sure I have some. Um, but the next thing I gotta do is I'll have to get over here. I gotta finish back over in here, which, you know, like I said, I, I, I probably am gonna have to pull out the, uh, the fuel tank. I don't really want to, but I'm probably gonna have to. Um, I gotta drop that guy down. I still gotta get the seam seal that's back in that corner. I gotta finish up back there, getting that seam seal out. Um, there's still seam seal in this little corner that's gotta come out. And of course, I'll probably just take and cut that out. Um, cut out this section, like that side over there was cut. So that way I've got access to those uh, uh, spot welds and I can get those drilled out so that guy pops right out and I don't destroy this well well because this one's in much better shape than that guy. So, uh, uh, so I'll get all this stuff going and uh and then i'll check back in with y'all here in just a bit all right folks well since uh since this is moving fairly easy i'm gonna be a glutton for punishment here and go at it with the air hammer air chisel whatever
so the only thing that's not cleared out is that corner over there i'm gonna work on that here in just a moment but uh tail panel is now done for the time being <laughs> so i guess what i'm gonna do is get over here and uh start hacking on this uh i'm probably gonna go ahead and take the grinder and just cut me a path over to this hole for the uh filler neck to go in just cut me a path here and then go ahead and just cut out at that rust and then just cut it back and that way i can just take that panel out and i got plenty of room to work so here we go So yeah, same as the other side. I've got a little weld. I got a little uh, little bead right here and a little bead right there. Um, uh, just some weld that's holding this in. So I got to grind that out, and I'll probably do like I did on the other side and just kind of cut a little notch here, and that way I can get this piece out of the way. Um, and then I've still got to get. We haven't done anything with the seam seal back in this corner, so I've still got to heat this up and get this seam seal out. You know, I was kind of putting that off because you know that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, whatever. We have no more bed floor. It is all out, so this last little section's out and done. Um, I guess this thing was done on a Friday. Somebody was aching to get out because there was only two spot welds holding this back side of this guy on right here. There was one like right here and one right there. That was it. So uh, so we got this all out. Uh, the whole bed floor is gone. So uh, now we've got to start looking at cleaning up and uh, what all we need to get in here and do repairs on so obviously this is all rotted out i mean there's this is just that's held together with hope and, hopes and dreams right here but uh i, I got to figure out if this goes up underneath this and what i need to do to get that fixed so that's something i'll have to think on and work on here in just a little while uh but yeah we're rotted all the way back to here so i mean this is going to be cut you know back here somewhere all the way over and hopefully it doesn't go too far under here it might i don't know we'll see um but there's a lot of cleanup that's got to happen here folks um i've got you know all these spots where the spot welds are i've got to go through and grind all that stuff down smooth that crap out and get it cleaned up and then of course you know we've got the surface rust that we got to take care of this guy again all chewed up and stuff but we've also got you know like the surface rust here on the wheel well we've got some more down here on this uh this inner bed uh, bedside right here um there's also a ton of seam seal still uh hovering around you know right in here across these uh these wheel wells so i gotta go through and clean up all all the seam seal um i've also still got to clean up my butchery that is that driver's side wheel well <laughs> that thing came out ugly so uh, lesson learned there i won't do it like that ever again hopefully i don't ever have to do this again <laughs> but um lesson learned there so uh yeah air chisel for busting up those uh, uh spot welds on that thin metal not a good idea so uh drill them out and uh, hit them with a uh, pry bar or uh, i believe eastwood makes a spot weld chisel breaker thing i can't remember I saw morsky use it one time it it's pretty awesome um 
but again, I, I, I'm hoping I never have to do all this stuff again, so I, I'm not going to spend the money to buy that special tool just for that. I don't know. If I end up having to do another one of these, something like this, I'll probably go ahead and spend the money. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so still got still got all this cleanup to do. So this is going to take probably a whole day of doing nothing but cleanup. And then I've also got, uh, you know, up in here, I've got to finish clearing this spot out. I, this is a piece of metal that lays over top of this. This is rotted out. So I got to cut this metal out. I got to figure out how far back in here on this bedside it goes. That side's not bad. Um, it doesn't look that bad. You know, it, it definitely doesn't look as bad as this driver's side. So that side doesn't look too terrible. So, uh, uh, so you know, that's how the uh, K5 bed floor comes out. Who knew? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, uh, Anyhow, um, I, I'm beat. I have crawled and climbed and wallered and turned and twist and hammered and oh my God, I am war plumb out today. So uh, I'm gonna call that good. If you're looking for more K5 content and stuff, there is a uh, playlist. I'll put the link up here. Um, and it's everything I've done to this blazer. Uh, doing the front pans, which was again, me learning how to do this stuff I've never done. I've never done any real sheet metal work before and and that was evident in a lot of ways on the uh, on the front pans but hey got it done <laughs> learned a lot driver's side freaking nightmare passenger side not too bad <laughs> did driver's side first <laughs> so learn as we go um but uh as always i appreciate y'all guys watching uh tune in next week we'll have more k5 stuff going on and uh um uh, if you haven't liked the video, go ahead and like it. If you haven't uh, subscribed, if you made it this far, man, go ahead and subscribe. You might as well. Um, other than that, y'all guys have a good one, and we'll see you next time. Just remember, it ain't got to be perfect, just good enough. Y'all take it easy.